Hey there guys and girls, you're back with the one and only. My name's Rob here from videogamesblogger.com. Welcome to my Dead Island walkthrough. Now, it's a little bit something different in that uh, I'm going to be taking you guys through uh, very quickly what is each chapter at a time and the essential quests that you'll need to take on and of course how I did those. So the first one here is Passport for Life and uh, we need to go grab ourselves Mr. Cinemoy's uh, little card, which is pretty cool stuff. Easy, easy peasy. Uh, lemon squeezy. Why? All you got to do is, of course, follow the white dotted line. So uh, we're going to do that quickly. I'm going to skip out some bits. We're going to, you know, uh, leave some bits behind. But through the entire video, of course, I'll be sharing with you what I'm doing, some of my thoughts on the game, as well as some hints and tips that you guys might find helpful. Now, energy drink is lying around everywhere. Take advantage of this fact definitely definitely keep your eyes open for as much energy drink as possible and uh, of course depending on what you decide to upgrade of course you can carry certain different uh, different types of weapons you can carry more weapons you'll be better with certain weapons etc but that's all down to your character choice I've chosen Logan who is a uh, throwing weapons expert and uh, we made our way all the way up yeah we <laughs> we've gotten inside we've bashed our zombie way through and uh, hey we found us the card so uh, all you need to do like I said is follow the little dotted line it'll take you all the way up just make sure that you do keep your eyes open and listen because the zombies do make one hang of a noise so uh, once you've got yourself the card and you've absolutely looted the house and I mean looted PS and by the way take everything with you because it's a definite must that dude over there he's just crying in the pool um <laughs> i know it's horrendous what's happened but he was crying in the pool anyway we left him behind and of course continued back to our friend old cinemoy now uh in a very australian accent he will of course dish out the next quest which is of course exodus which means okay quit the australian getting to the lifeguard tower itself and uh see it says they get rid of all the undead in the area okay difficulty hard reward 600 xp points and a homemade cleaver when we get back so that's all good and gravy make your way down to the lifeguard center because oh man watch this it gets pretty hairy now you've unlocked the gate you have got a key card obviously that you've just fetched but oh man oh man meet the thug or oh, aka Brutus Maximus big old zombius uh, will kill you with one punch kind of guy and of course it recommends that we throw things at him to break their limbs and slow them down so uh, I started throwing things at him works pretty well in the beginning um, later on I have devised a few other methods some of which involve running jumping hiding or even locking thugs in rooms yes you've got to be creative when it comes to zombie bashing people you really do now we're gonna walk through here I'm gonna wade through and uh, take on all the zombies you know bash and smash their heads have a little fun with them and uh, get them all agitated but we do need to take on all of them because that's the main part of the actual quest itself you need to get rid of everybody and you'll know that this needs to happen if you're in a quest and you see the little white zombie icons popping up because normally you know zombies just don't pop up all the time on your radar but when they need to be killed more or less show up as little white skulls so that's pretty cool stuff for us so we're gonna go find all the little white skulls we're gonna absolutely cave their heads in <laughs> because it's fun that way and don't forget you have of course got your torch because it gets a little bit dark in here until of course you actually like save the whole place and everything's clean and then everybody moves in which is great great stuff so uh you know going around the room again keep your eye open for energy drinks because they will of course replenish health later on in the game you'll find that there's energy drink dispensers um you know just soda machines up on the wall uh five bucks a piece i do believe so if you want to get in there get in there i'm going to pick up on a quick little fact and there's quite a few of these lying around all over the place of course you can grab yourself a little trophy i'm sure for picking up all of those that's going to be cool and fun you guys will notice i do also enjoy kicking zombies now uh, i kick zombies for one simple reason uh one personal preference because who doesn't love sticking the size eight into a zombie head two is that it actually slows down my weapon destruction if the zombies are of a lower level and you know you've got your pipe but your pipe's taking a bit of a knocking and there's nowhere around to actually repair it you're best off just kicking kick them down to the ground and then go in for a headshot and finish them off that'll be great great stuff because uh you know you've gone 
your weapons only take in one, maybe two swings at a zombie, the damage is minimal, and of course, you're left with one dead mess, which is exactly what we wanted. So uh, after I've finished cleaning up on all these uh, dead bodies everywhere, again, I'm going to run around and absolutely loot the place, because looting is an RPG essential. Very much like Fallout, the game has got items lying around absolutely everywhere for you guys to pick up on. And of course, as we go through, those will become more relevant. Uh, things like deodorants and stuff like that don't make any sense in the beginning. But when you can put together a deodorant bomb, trust me, you'll be happy you knew what you were doing. And you'll be happy that you picked up that can of, uh, well, I was going to say links, but of course other deodorants are available. You know? <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, there's a can of deo lying just up here. Some of the items actually do reset as well, which is... Uh, you know, some have said, oh, it's a bit of a glitch or whatnot, but uh, hey, if it's there and it's working, why not use it? Now, a lot of items do reset, some of them cans of food, uh, deodorants and stuff like that. And you'll find them, once you've left an area, you'll come back and it'll all be back again. So uh, definitely take advantage of that. If you do see it happening, if you pick something up, you go back to the area, check it out, and hey presto, it's back. I'd suggest going backwards and forwards a little bit. Maybe pick up a few more cans of Dio and stuff like that because two cans of deodorant and a lighter, I believe, once you guys have got the actual blueprint, creates the Dio bomb. And that is a nasty little piece of kit. You'll see that later on in the game as well being used. So uh, we're going to go off. We're going to, you know, just have a wander around. It seems like no more zombies left. There's nothing popping up on my radar. But of course, like I said, guys, it's all about getting involved and of course picking things up. You want to have the ammunition for later on. Uh, drinking energy drinks just because you can will obviously send you to the toilet more often than not. No, not really. I'm just kidding around. Okay, so there we are. This is it. It's the basic mission complete. You have of course finished chapter one by now. All you need to do is uh, boot that zombie in the head and you will of course have completed the Exodus quest. All you need to do now is uh, speak to our friend Sin. Get on the radio, tell him everything's all right, Bob's your uncle, and uh, put another shrimp on the barbie. I'm sure he will because it's going to be great. Now the next level will kick off after we've spoken to Sin. He'll all of a sudden go into a little cutscene. Oh, me getting uh, tired there, had to pause quickly. You know, these things happen, people. We play quite a few games here at VGB. And uh, of course, the old thumbsticks need a rest every now and again. Okay, chill out, don't worry, we're talking to him. And of course, there we go. He'll get involved, we'll get given a little cutscene. I'm going to cut that out because that's the end of the level, guys. That's the end of the chapter, actually, more to be fair. And uh, well done, and on to 